The drive starts right now. Starts right now. The following is an exclusive original presentation of Radio Free NC, Eastern North Carolina's radio home for sports. Sports. And this is the drive again, a championship edition, getting set for tonight's state championship, and a familiar face, uh, a familiar voice, I should say, for you radio listeners, Terry Barnes. Independent filmmaker, NDO Films, No Days Off. Terry, what's up, man? Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> what's going on? Feeling good? You got yeah, it? yeah. It's, you know, championship week. Um, you know, we, we talked about this last week. I was up here, so, um, you know, I'm just feeling good that, like I said, I think we need to talk before uh, Redskins games. So, we can, oh, yeah. <laughs> so, so that it worked with um, everything. <laughs> I think you, I think the Redskins are, are in your last two appearances. I think they're 2 and up. Yeah. When you do the show prior to, and you'd yeah. love to have this yeah. one. Cause yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. It's a good one. The Giants, <laughs> Monday night. So, um, well, before yeah, we um, talk um, about about the Newburn Bears and uh, and their big game tonight in the state championship, how about RG3 yesterday? I don't know if you, you heard this news. I talked about it yesterday on the show. RG3, after the, uh, the holiday shopping weekend, Black Friday, Small Business Saturday, Cyber Monday, mm-hmm. Number one selling jersey in the National Football League is owned by Robert Griffin III. Oh, I ain't know that. Yeah, that's, you didn't that's know that? crazy. No, I didn't know that. That's, uh, hey, everybody finally uh, jumping on board. They, they should. No, that's. I think it's, I think it's <laughs> great that, it's, that you were going to go to practice and that that was probably going to really get you pumped up. Yeah, so. yeah. yeah, I made it. Made it out there yesterday. Um, you know, it's, it's the last uh, regular season, well, re- last practice for a lot of the seniors, for one, and then, you know, ask for the season. So, so it, you know, it wasn't too emotional, but I mean, everybody was energized, everybody was ready to go. And it's just like, towards the end of practice, you, you, know, you get the feeling like, you know, that's when everybody kind of like realized, nah, this is it. And, you know, like I said, it's, it's you know, I'm trying to make history, I guess. And, and uh, you know, so much on the line, but I mean, to me, nobody didn't seem like they felt no pressure. It seemed like it was more like, you know, just another game. Just like, you know, we've been there all year and it's just pretty much been the same. Same as, as it's been game one with Hillside and all that. So it's- well, I, I got to say, I was watching some of the videos you've made. Of course, for those that don't know, let's remind everybody that uh, I, I mentioned you're an independent filmmaker and you do a lot. I think it really, uh, it probably bodes well for Newbern having that fact that the senior group who has had an incredible run, long playoff runs to finally get here, that yeah. I think that these guys are going to be ready to play tonight. Yeah, I mean, um, something that uh, Coach Curlin said yesterday at practice, uh, he said, um, you know, some of these guys, you know, you probably that you're going to see, you know, after this and all that, but he said, he said, you know, believe it or not, some of you guys ain't probably will never see some of your friends ever again. So he said, but one thing you guys can take with you is, you know, a, a state championship run and, you know, with an undefeated season and, and going in, he said, so, you know, even if you never see these guys again, that's something that you guys will share forever, you know. And not, I mean, even though, I don't yeah. think either one of us had any doubts. Yeah. Even at the start of the season, I mean, but I, I said this earlier in the show. I don't think people really realize. I think when you when you have a great football program, people expect it. Like you're supposed to get to the championship yeah, every yeah. year. I don't think people realize how hard it really is to get here. <laughs> I know you're relieved yeah, to uh, have committed to the project and yeah. and that and then and then and then they got there. I mean, yeah, it was the thing. Um, I was talking with my dad about that. Like he was like he kind of took a gamble when he named it uh, back to the big game, but I mean you know and it, it was it was so funny because I was going through names and um, like I said and you know I already, I already knew Bear Country but I wanted to put like a subtitle with and I just going through different things and um pretty much and then I said well back to the big game I was thinking about 07 and you know and then I, I you know seeing how close they came a few years after that. So I said, you know, it's just like it was pretty fitting. I, I had a feeling that it was a good year, but you know, you can't predict those type of things. So it's just like faith and, um, and divine intervention, I always say, because you know, you can't say, okay, I want you to go undefeated because the name's movie, the <laughs> back to the big game. So, but, um, but that's, 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 that's what it seemed like to happen though. It seemed like, you know, once we put it out there, that's what's happening with it, you know, so. Well, and then tonight, obviously, we need to win, yeah. get that, bring home that trophy. Exactly. That would that would make the yeah over the top right there. I I, I still say, and obviously after tonight, mm-hmm. this is when the real uh, yeah. a lot of the I mean I wouldn't say the real work because you've put a lot of work into a Friday night's practices yeah. and a lot of things, but you know now in the next few months yeah. you've got to put this all together. Yeah, yeah. that's going to be a you know, project. Be a lot of work so. that part, and then. The editing process, and you know, then getting the musical, and getting the scores, and you know, just things like that, soundtrack stuff. So it's, um, you know, it's just gonna be a, a lot more months of working. But like I said, like I said, everybody, you know, we can't recreate 
the football part of it, the season, and you know, get to where we at. So, like I said, this was this was mainly important because you can always shoot interviews and add pickup shots to different things, but you can't recreate guys getting on the football field and coaches saying in that moment certain things. So that's why this part was so important as well. So, but I mean, but, but yeah, we, we, I mean, you know, we we, we happy about what, how it's going, and you know, I'm looking forward to the process. Like, you know, I took on the project, and I didn't think. It was going to go like it is, but I mean, everything is going well. It's a big learning experience. And so, I mean, from this production part to post production, it's going to be the same thing. It's, it's going to be some new challenges and more learning. But I mean, I think it's just going to be all good because, you know, we got a lot of support with people asking them when the movie's coming out. I mean, they've been asking that since the beginning of the season. Right. So, I mean, you know, so I think people are looking for it. So that's, that's a good thing. And, you know, it's going to keep it going. I mean, I, I, I think. Um I, I look at what you know what what all you've done. I've watched a lot of the videos, and I know this is the case. Anytime uh, as a filmmaker, you're you're putting this stuff together. I mean, this is gonna be a three-hour documentary. You got you got <laughs> hours of footage. Oh, it's gonna be really hard to select yeah. what it is yeah. you want to put in the film. I mean, it's, it's, it's that's me and my cousin um, Jermaine Barnes. He's here today too, co-producer. We're just talking about that. I mean, we talk about it a lot, but we just talking about that today. Like, I mean, how. It's so much, so many things, you know. I mean, some days I'm just sitting by myself. I'm like, okay, if I even put two minutes of each game, that's still <laughs> almost 45 minutes. So right. it's like, you know. Um, but I mean, like I said, I got a somewhat of a storyline that I mean I wanted to go by. But how, how things change throughout the season with a documentary, you can't plan for so much. So it just, you know, certain things just got get added. And you know, I mean, I'm really seeing that a part two, uh, some kind of spinoffs, you know, for different things because so many ideas that came to the table about, you know, with even taking it to older players from the JT Barber versus Newburn days when, you know, so it's a lot of extra stuff that's coming from it too uh, that I think, well, which I really want to do is open up some doors for some things anyway, and I, and I think this is what it's going to do. So that's, you know, that's why I'm, with some stuff going to hit the cutting floor, but a lot of things going to make it into other projects, I think. Well, you know, it's not the last time I'm going to invite you here, so you're welcome here again. Oh, yeah. And certainly, as uh, your Redskins go, yeah, yeah, we'll, exactly. uh, we'll, we'll certainly have you on and, and update the movie. Yeah. Um, let, let's give everybody, and by the way, I you can find find this guy on Facebook, um, Indio Films. There's also a, um, the, you can find Terry Barnes, you can find uh, the, the actual title of the movie, Bear Country, Back to the Big Game. You can find that on there, and there's always great links to some of the video footage that you've taken. Um, get your Bear Country t-shirt, and I know that you kind of reached out to everybody that had purchased or had a Bear Country t-shirt and uh, to, to, to wear it, wear yeah, it to the game, exactly. take some pictures of it. I had mine on earlier, posted yeah. the uh, the Facebook picture. Okay. Uh, so you guys yeah. get one of those t-shirts. Uh, give us all, all the information. How can they, uh, website, how, how can they get a t-shirt and all that stuff? Um, basically, like um, you can go to the website, which is um, www.indiofilms.com um, email is uh, indiofilms at gmail.com um, you can do the Facebook uh, which is you can put in terry.barnes2 you can type in Indio Films Bear Country and it should bring a link to, to uh, my page or if you're Twitter you can do um, at Indio Films um, so like I say any, any means you know uh, if you see us out there at the football game throw something in the field and uh, <laughs> you know we'll just get attention and, and you know we, we like I said, we we're really trying to push the shirts because it's it's not more of for the fashion. Even though it's a nice shirt, it's more as having a part of history, you know. Because it's something that you know started here. It's not like a, a big company putting this out there for you know for profit and gains, you know. Because everything is going to the film. So, but I mean, you, you can have this shirt, and you know, if we go there, ESPN, HBO docs, never know. You can have this shirt and say, you know, I was a part of that being made, and so that's that's the, that's why I want to get people at. Not worrying about all oh, the size and fit certain things like that, which I mean that that's cool, which because I want you to wear it. But at the same time, I would just myself. I just wanted to have it. If I wanted to put it up somewhere, you never know where things can go. So um, and you, you know you can have something original that you can't just buy anywhere out, out of a major store. You know, so maybe one day I'm hoping. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think, I think that's a great idea. And Jerry Barnes joins us. We still have a lot of show to go. In fact, I'm going to go from. One Redskin fan to another Redskin fan, <laughs> Newbridge Sun Journal sports writer Jordan Honeycutt. He is waiting in the wings. He'll be joining us next on The Drive on ESPN Radio. Ladies and gentlemen, can I please have your attention? I've just been handed an urgent and horrifying news story. And I need all of you to stop what you're doing and listen. Go! The rebound is called. What you just said.
is one of the most insanely idiotic things I've ever heard. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. Anthro, baseline, spins away. Wow. Oh.